Hey guys, I'm starting off a new series. This is all going to be about contouring and highlighting. Um, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that talk about contouring and highlighting, um, but they're just sort of the basic ones. Like you do the contouring under the cheekbones um, and highlighting above the cheekbones to give a fuller cheekbone. Um, and you know, that's great. That works on pretty much every single face shape. Um, but I think people don't really go into the different types of face shapes and the contouring that goes with those because the contouring that you do can change a person's face shape basically. Um, well, it gives the illusion of changing the face. So this video is just going to talk briefly about the face shapes um, and then each video part of the, as part of the series will be very short and just show you the effects of contouring. Okay. So seven basic face shapes are, I've got a picture. This is out of my book from my tape. And I've made little notes next to them. So the seven basic face shapes are oval, circle, square, rectangle, uh, diamond, triangle, and inverted triangle or heart shape. Now the heart name come is really if someone has um. The hairline goes like that and then they've got like sort of a pointier chin it goes like that but you can have an inverted triangle without having that little heart okay so I'll show you the picture again that's the seven basic face shapes now people like it takes ages to figure out what face shape you are some people like once you get better at it you can go okay you are a diamond it's it can take long for some people, but if you're used to it, it's pretty quick. Um, so in class, we had to do this. We had to pair up and decide each other's face shapes, if our faces were balanced, if our eyes were perfectly in line, all this kind of stuff. Um, and so most people don't have just like one specific face shape. Like there might be a combination of an oval and a diamond. Like they might have their forehead um, might be the biggest point but then they've got a really pointy chin and big cheekbone. So it's kind of not really a proper diamond shape or oval. It's a, people's faces are a combination. Um, but there's, yeah, general shapes that most people are. Okay, so there are two kind of ways that you can, um, well, there's more than two, but I'll show you two, that you can sort of depict what face shape you are. So this is what I've done. So I've gotten some pieces of paper and I've driven, driven like half a face. Now obviously it's not half a face because it's very skinny and faces are bigger. But it's just as a guide to put over your face just to see whether it matches. So this is square. Hmm. Well I'm not really a square. I'm more of an oval my teacher tells me. But this square that I've drawn is pretty spot on with my face, except this is, goes straight down where my face goes in, which is more of an oval um, characteristic, I suppose. So that's square. So what you can do is you can do this at home. You can grab just a piece of paper and a texture, maybe make your shapes a bit bigger than I've done mine. I did mine really quickly. So you just do that. So I'm kind of, the top half of me is a bit of a square, but the bottom half is not. Okay, this one. Now this side I've got circle. Now see how it's much more rounded than mine? Mine just kind of goes up straight more and up. doesn't go out as far. And this one is an oval. See, that's more my shape. See? Like this. Okay. Oval and circle. Next two are rectangle and diamond. These are really shoddy drawings, I'm sorry. This is rectangle, so it's long and skinny. So it's basically like a square, but longer. So, mm, not really, not really that shape. This rectangle business, like this outer part is not right. Okay, other side, diamond. So this is for the people, this is not my face shape at all, look at that. Completely different. This is for people that have um, slimmer foreheads and pointy chins and very big cheekbones. So you can draw like, like that. 
diamond. And the last two, this is the heart or inverted triangle, either way. So it goes like that, and then down. My face does not, because I've got all this business on this side. So I'm not a heart. And this is the triangle. Obviously, I'm not that shape. And people's faces aren't going to be that extreme, where it's like a point. But, you know, that's the general shape of their face. is like skinnier at the top, wider at the bottom, no big cheekbone sticking out. That's what that is. So you can do that at home. It's like four pieces of paper. It's totally easy. If you don't, or if you choose a better texture than I do, they're right on that side, but it shows through. So if you go text that doesn't do that, you can just do it on um, like two pieces of paper, like four on one and three on the other because there's seven face shapes. So they're the seven basic face shapes. That's a fairly easy way of um, seeing what face shape you are. Is you put it up and you sort of see whether your face matches the shape. Um, if you don't have textures or paper or whatever, um, another way um, you can do is if you just look at your face square on and you try and draw a shape like you try and visualize like lines on your face so if people that have more angular faces it's going to be really obvious because they're going to have big cheekbones little chin so it's going to be like fairly obvious straight lines if you're rounder like me it's just like that so I'm a, I'm a pretty good oval shape, which is the perfect bow shape apparently, but it's not very common. So yeah, you can either draw, piece, draw like half a shape on a piece of paper or you can just sort of, sort of outline your face with your fingers and try and keep track of where your hands have gone and what shape it makes. Um, to look at other people's face shapes, um, like to test yourself and to help learn to get really good at it is um what you can do is cut out pictures of magazines or print off pictures off the computer and get a pen or a pencil or a text or whatever and draw the face of the shape not like to the hairline like not all the way back like this because that's not really a good shape just like the basic most prominent part of the face so like that that will stand out and then that will be the face shape so if you want to know how to do that just keep practicing and then you'll get better and better and then you'll be able to look at people and go, mm, you're a combination of a square and a diamond. So yeah, that's my first video. Um, and I'll show you um, lastly, um, this is also what my teacher gave me from class. It's actually out of Kevin O'Quan's uh, book. Um, and this is his sister, which he did some contouring and highlighting on. So there's the picture. That's his sister there before any makeup. That's her with contouring. She looks so much older already. And then once all that's blended in and her makeup's like the rest of her makeup is on, this is what she looks like. She looks completely different. And yes, the other makeup helps. But like her face shape looks so different. She's got bigger cheekbones, a pointier chin, a slimmer nose. All because of contouring so you can see how contouring is really important um, you know and if people have a really wide nose you just slim down the sides with some contouring bit of highlight down the middle and blend it really well they'll have a smaller nose um, so I hope this video was helpful to some of you um, if you have any questions or anything please feel free to ask I'm not saying that I'm an ex expert I'm not I'm a student myself um, but I'm just passing on what I've been taught to you guys. So then everyone learns and everyone can get better. Um, so please stay tuned for the next contouring video. Bye.